As some of you may know, I'm not the best cook. It's something that James makes fun of me for fairly often, but I am trying to improve and I think I am getting better. Slightly better, at least. This is James May's cookbook. I'm sure you've seen it before. I use it fairly often. Its tagline is 60 easy recipes any idiot can make. I think that definitely applies to me. I've used it a fair bit over the last year. I do usually stick to the easier recipes like spag bowl or hot dogs, but today I'm gonna to be trying something a little bit more challenging, I think, the stir fried chili beef recipe. I am always kind of scared of stir fries. I think whenever I've tried to make them in the past, they've just been tasteless. So hopefully this will help me improve. First off, I'm gonna start with the marinade. I've already got all of the ingredients laid out here. James taught me that one, makes the video look way more professional than it is and makes my life much easier. There is one ingredient here which is not fully prepared and that is the ginger. The marinade consists of soy sauce, sesame oil, green chili and ginger. The ginger needs to be finely chopped up and I actually learned a little hack to do that when we were at the School of Wok with Jeremy Pang. And to do that, you just chop it up into little chunks first like that and then with your massive big cleaver you just go on top of it and smash it down and then it sort of smushes it all up quite nicely and then it'll be really easy to chop that up finely later look at that don't need that piece anyway James and Jeremy made that look much easier than it was. I'm just gonna chop the leftover of the smashing up and it ends up being sort of quite nicely, finely chopped without spending ages on it. Okay, I'm gonna put that in this cute little bowl I've prepared. Next to actually marinade the steak. Got it in this nice bowl here and we're just gonna add the ginger. I don't think we're gonna use all of it. So it'll be a bit strong. Then we're gonna add the chili. I'm gonna try and do this without touching it so I don't end up touching my eye later. Now for the soy sauce. Lovely. And the sesame oil. Next, we wanna mix this up really nicely and let it sit to marinade for about at least 10 minutes, the book says. And James says half a day if you can. I don't have half a day. So just mixing this up nicely with your hands. I'm doing this with my hands because when I was at the School of Work with James and Jeremy Pang, Jeremy said that it's important to sort of really massage it in so that the marinade's not just sitting on the outside of the steak strips, it sort of gets in there quite nicely. I'm gonna cover it up and let it marinade. We are pretty much ready to cook now, which is where everything can go wrong. James suggests we use a wok. I don't have one, so I'm gonna make do with this frying pan. We have got all of our veg here, which is nicely laid out in what I've learned is called a wok clock. And that is basically all your ingredients in order of when you put them in the wok or frying pan. So the corn will take longer than the carrots then the marsh too, then the peppers, and lastly, we have the bean sprouts. So that is our wok clock, but we are gonna cook the meat first. We also have the noodles here, rice noodles, and then a little bit of sunflower oil to cook with. I'm also using this little portable hob because my hob is really hard to film at. So let's get this turned on. I need to remember how it works. Okay, it's got seven is its max. So we'll put it on max and let it heat up. Put a little bit of sunflower oil in. I think that's about right. So we'll just wait for that to heat up. The pan is smoking, so I think we're ready to go in with our steak. I 
I definitely put too much oil in. Way too much. Oh well. Just gonna stir that around a bit. It smells quite nice. That's looking pretty good. I'm now gonna take it out of the pan and put it in this little dish here and we'll actually add it back in once we've cooked the veg. So pan is going back on and we're gonna go in with our corn first because that will take the longest to cook. I don't like it too crunchy. Same with the carrots, so I'm putting those in first. So in goes the corn. Got some nice juice left over from the steak. I'm just gonna move these around a little bit. I think I might add just a little bit more oil. There we go. Okay, next we are gonna go in with the carrot. So we're going around the clock on the plate. Okay, that's looking good. Next, we're going for the mange too. Be careful not to get any of the other veg in. Got some nice colors going on. Nice bit of smoke. Next, the red pepper and the yellow pepper. This should add a bit of moisture in. breaking them up a bit with my spoon. It looks like it could be quite a healthy lunch. I am surprised by the lack of sort of seasoning in the recipe. I would have thought I'd need to put salt and pepper on the meat when I marinated it, but didn't say to. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready for the bean sprouts. I don't like them too crunchy, so I'm actually gonna leave them in there longer than probably most people would. Do I add the noodles in next, or do I add the meat in next? I think I'm gonna add the meat back in next. Here we go. All that nice juice as well. Oh. And we're going to go straight in with the noodles. I'm not sure my frying pan is big enough. Doesn't matter. Are you really cooking if you're not making a mess? I'm going to try and poke it around quite a lot so the noodles don't sort of go into one big clump. It does look like it's going to be a bit dry, but I did follow the recipe exactly right. Maybe that's why he says at the end of the recipe you have to put a bit of sweet chili sauce on. Maybe it's because it is a bit dry. Looking like a stir fry though. I think we are probably ready. I'm gonna turn off my hob and plate it up. I'm actually quite excited to try this, so I'm gonna put out a nice sized portion in here. Lovely. And to finish it off, the recipe says just to drizzle a little bit of sweet chili on top. Let's see if I've made my first successful tasty stir fry. Try and get a bit of meat, bit of noodle, bit of veg.
That's really tasty. I'm surprised it's really tasty. Camera died. I'm actually a bit surprised because there's not much seasoning, there's the marinade, but apart from that, there's not really any seasoning in here. I definitely count this as a success. I'm happy because this is my lunch. I've seen in the comments that a few of you have asked me to do more cooking videos on the channel. I hope this is what you meant. If there's anything else you'd like to see me cook, then let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.